Hi, and welcome to my uh, newest video, and this time a review video in which I'm going to review this um, 1930 Crossley Silver 2, little speci 2 liter special. Um, it's a design made by uh, Johnny D. Uh, I got it from him his, from his website. Uh, it's a website you can uh, purchase uh, uh, building instructions. And yeah, he, he has a lot of um, uh, hot rods built with Lego. They're very cool. And um, in a certain time uh, point of time, I asked him if he could do more uh, older cars, like not, not chopped uh, uh, hot rods, but the original ones of the hot rod. And um, this was one of the first he did. And uh, by now he did uh, a couple of them. Uh, I'm really happy that he did. And this was the first one he did and the first one I purchased from him. And uh, I got all the parts, I built it. And yeah, so just like my previous uh, video where I reviewed the Omaha Bricks um, model, let's do a speed build with this one first. So yes, that was the very, very, very fast speed build. Um, some uh, details about uh, this uh, awesome car. To first uh, start, this one, uh, like I said, is a design of Johnny D. Uh, his website, www.johnnyd.com, uh, you can find a really uh, beautiful designs and you can purchase there the building instructions uh, in PDF and you have to pay for all of them no matter what uh, model it is uh, oh I, at the moment that I say that I think there were some uh, was one series that was cheaper but almost all of the models are three dollar in dollars 3.59 and um, if you buy the instructions, you get a step-by-step -step instruction, uh, yeah, a PDF. Uh, it also includes, and that's very handy, it also in includes a graphic and numbered parts list. So you can actually see the parts and you get the numbers of the parts, so you easily can buy them on Bricklink. Um, I think it's very useful when there is a graphic um, parts list with them, because when you go to your own collection of bricks, it can be that you don't, don't know the, uh, the numbers of the parts, but if you know how they look like, they can be found easy. Um, this model is built with 291 parts, um, most of them pretty easily to get. Um, the instructions, the they come with it are full color, uh, easy to follow. It's uh, really uh, step by step. And for instance, when you put on like uh, this part, it shows um, in a section that you need these two parts for the build you're going to, of the part you're going to build. And it shows you like this should be connected. There will be a red line around the parts that. Um, are connected to each other and once again a red line like you have to put it over here um, yeah the build is fun um, it's it got a couple really smart uh, uh, techniques and um, ones I did not see before and um, uh, I see many different kind of techniques but uh, what I like, uh, in, for instance, is the uh, these headlights. These are like two. I'm not sure if I can get it off. 
is a, like a plate, modified plate, with just a simple round tray plate on top of it, and you got this part. It's such an easy way to just connect them. And I, I just never saw this before, and I, <laughs> when I built this, I thought, why didn't I come up with that before? That's such a easy way to to build it and it looks so good uh, that brings me uh, to the front of the vehicle I really like the way the headlights uh, group is done uh, it really looks good and maybe it would it look even better if these parts were uh, flat silver I don't think they even exist so okay that's uh, no no uh, no problem at all um, yeah, I like the what the so-called illegal technique for attaching the side plates on here. Um, yeah, the the rear is one of my favorite parts. I really like love how this looks, and um, I think this should be a, a, a license plate. And I saw on the Instagram of uh, Johnny D that he has some custom. Johnny D uh, license plate so if he's going to sell those on his website I'm probably going to buy one for this car to attach to the rear um, yeah um, what can I say about this I, I'm, some some points I really um, uh, really like about this is that the scale the scale is just great it's um, it's great it, it one mini fix fits in here perfectly um, and, and the size wise I think it could be really uh, um, good compared to uh, the Lego Speed Champions and it's more like a classic version of the Lego Speed Champions I really like that um, it's the same scale like the, the, the Speed Champions you only fit in one, one um, uh, minifig and uh, yeah, this I think this would match greatly if you have a collection of uh, speed champ. Uh, no speed champs. Speed champions. Um, if you got them in all in line, this one would fit in perfectly. Um, as it, m all of you probably know, I'm um, uh, my collection is mostly uh, uh, World War II era, and this car being a 1930 car, I really think it fits in very well because um, back in those days people wouldn't buy every uh, uh, three years a new car they will go longer with the same car so this one would probably be real be really realistic if this one would be in a scene of w w2 um, of course uh, when I do a review, I want to be as honest as I could be, and um, there are some negative points about this model, and I want to uh, adjust them. Um, first of them, uh, the parts, some parts of these uh, of this building build are very hard to get. Uh, for instance, the original um, instructions show that there should be a reddish brown steering wheel. It was impossible me, for me to find. Uh, I didn't even. Uh, and certain point, I thought, never mind. I'm not going to, to try it. I'm going with the black one. It looks good as well, and um, yeah, I'm not going to spend a lot of money just to get it from overseas. So uh, no, I'm not going to do that. And it's a shame because I thought um, I want to build it really like the instructions tell me to. And when I don't, when I can't get all the parts, I'm always a bit disappointed. Another thing it was hard for me to get were the wheels. Um, lucky enough, I found a seller who sold, had a stock of them, or like 50 of them or so, and I thought, uh, let's bring 25 over this way as soon as I could. And um, yeah, uh, I prefer always prefer using new parts, but unfortunately, these were only uh, uh, used products the same goes with the windshield and the hinge part that's attached to it 
I couldn't get it anywhere. And I'm so happy that um, the designer, Johnny D, he provided me with one. And I'm really happy he did because um, for another model I'm trying to build from him, um, which I will show in a, another video on a later time. Um, I did manage to get one, but I had to pay two euro fifty for a clearly used windshield. So uh, it's, it's a shame. And I think if I put out some effort, I could adjust it and add um, like um, those trans clear uh, panels. And one by two panels if you put the two of them to get next to each other here and I think they will manage to go on top of that I think if I if I want to I can manage it I can do yeah I think it could be done um, the steering wheel has to go if I want to uh, maybe it could stay on ah, okay I, I may try that in the future um, but otherwise I still have to say, it's a very, very, very cool model. I really like the looks of it. I really like the feeling about it. I really like how it fits perfectly with the Speed Champions. How it perfectly fits into my um, uh, collection of WW2 uh, era models. And yeah, one thing I also noticed is that um, uh, in the original instructions, it tells me to use these wheels, but I see pictures on the website and on the Instagram of Johnny D that there are many models with smooth tires. And I'm the lucky one. I found someone Bricklink and bought them. Let me show you how they look. How this one looks with those wheels. So you can compare this side smooth wheels, this side grooved wheels. Uh, I'm not sure if it's because I'm I already used to it to having this wheel, but I'm not sure if I like this so much. I actually prefer <laughs> these. Oh, I didn't thought that would happen. Hmm. Well, let me know in a comment what you think. Smooth wheels, groove the wheels. Hmm. I leave it for this. Um. Yeah. Hmm. That's. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. Well. Um. Let me show you like this. This is the way the original instruction tells you to. A small recap before I end this video. Great awesome model. Designed and sold by Johnny D on JohnnyDPunk.com. A uh, link will be put in the description. I will also put a direct link to this model. Um, used about uh, 291 parts. Uh, some rear, most of them easily easy to get. Overall design, very good. It's a sturdy one. It's a sturdy one. Okay, this one. <laughs> yeah, well, I forgive him. <laughs> I, I would say, get yourself some Johnny D instructions and build one yourself. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. And yeah, until then, bye bye.